Today in India, we have emphasis on having clean cities and towns. Korea has already achieved this goal and India can learn a lot from the experience of Korea in this respect. 현재 세계에서 가장 큰 이슈는 바로 쓰레기와 폐기물 문제입니다. 환경 오염으로 인한 기후 위기의 심각성이 21세기의 화두로 떠오르자 세계 각지에서는 극단적인 환경 운동까지 일어나고 있는데요. 영국에서는 환경 운동가들이 반고 후에 명화 해바라기에 토마토 스프를 끼얹고는 강제로 쫓겨나지 않기 위해 자신의 손에 접착제를 바르고 벽에 붙였습니다. Are you more concerned about the protection of a painting or the protection of our planet and people? 이탈리아에서는 환경 운동가들이 출근길 도로를 점거하고 시위를 벌이기도 했는데요. 출근길에 발이 묶인 시민들이 항의했지만 환경 운동가들은 차량을 막은 채 꼼짝도 하지 않았고 결국 경찰이 출동하고 나서야 그들을 강제로 끌어낼 수 있었죠. 이처럼 환경 문제와 그로 인한 사회 혼란이 심각한 가운데 쓰레기를 그냥 강에 버리거나 분리수거 없이 밖으로 던지는 나라도 있습니다. 바로 약 14억 명의 인구를 지닌 세계에서 가장 인구수가 많은 인도인데요. 인도 정부에서는 강에 쓰레기를 버리는 것에 벌금을 매기고 일회용품을 전면 금지하기도 했지만 인도인들 중 5억 명 이상이 집에 화장실조차 없을 정도로 빈곤에 시달리고 있어서 정부의 규제는 제대로 효력을 발휘하지 못하고 있습니다. 이에 인도 공영 방송에서는 자신들이 꿈꾸는 깨끗한 모습을 한국은 이미 이루었다며 직접 한국을 방문해 스스럼 없이 한국과 인도의 모습을 비교하고 한국에서 배울 점들을 소개했는데요. 특히 인도 방송사에서는 한국도 과거에는 쓰레기가 정리되지 않았던 시절이 있었음을 언급하면서 인도도 바뀔 수 있다는 메시지를 남기기도 했죠. 인도 공영 방송이 영상으로 담은 한국의 모습은 어땠을까요? 그러면 인도 공영 방송이 말하는 인도의 현재 상황과 인도인의 눈에 비친 한국의 모습은 어땠는지 살펴보겠습니다. Rajya Sabha TV team visited South Korea and took a stock of things in waste management. But it wasn't always like this in this country. Urban India generates 68.8 million tons of trash every year. More than 6000 tons of plastic waste is littered and uncollected daily, adding to the soaring mountains of non-biodegradable trash. The Supreme Court clarified municipal solid waste rules in the year 2000 requiring garbage to be sorted into organic matter that can be composted and recyclables like plastic and paper and other materials that can only be dumped. But these rules are far from being implemented. It's time to implement these rules with a level of strictness. A pivotal drive aimed at promoting the concept of cleanliness was launched by Prime Minister Narendra Modi months into his first stint on October 2nd, 2014. What defined the launch was Prime Minister Modi publicly wielding a broom and cleaning garbage from a street. The campaign is significant because of its attempt to change Indian attitudes towards cleaning and manual labour. Of course, for it to be successful, it has to be implemented consistently over a long period of time if people are not to revert back to business as usual. Why is it necessary to change the attitude of Indians towards cleanliness? Because this attitude for long had led to lack of sanitation and cleanliness in India, if not poverty. There are many developed countries who are doing this using technology and management skills. Rajya Sabha TV team visited South Korea and took a stock of things in waste management. South Korea, which once recycled 2% of its food waste, now recycles a whopping 95%. It's important that we learn from the experience of other countries like South Korea which has successfully implemented an efficient system of waste management which has led to the waste being sorted into organic matter that can be composted, recyclables like plastic and paper and other materials that can only be dumped at the level of disposable by the citizens. South Korea has a highly organized waste management system. Waste disposable and recycling policies set by the Ministry of Environment and garbage collection is organized at a municipal level. Household food waste, recyclables, non-recyclables and large objects are disposed of separately. Following this system is mandatory in South Korea. There are strict penalty charges for non-compliance and rewards for reporting non-compliance. But it wasn't always like this in this country. The mouth-watering array of side dishes that accompany a traditional South Korean meal. 
called banshan are often left unfinished contributing to one of world's highest rates of food wastage in 1995 the korean government implemented a volume based waste free system countrywide in an attempt to reduce the quantity of food waste and increase the rate of recycling up until then a single flat rate was still being charged regardless of how much trash was being thrown out this pay as you throw waste management system would impose a differentiated treatment cost determined by the amount of waste generated by each household resident the system would play a significant role in reducing the amount of waste generated while also fostering recycling prior to this recycling rates were extremely low since there was no incentive for household to take care about recycling korea has been able to manage the disposal and the recycling of its waste the key to this is segregation of various kind of waste at the very primary level this is uh, just a waste paper bottle can plastic bottle and uh, some plastic bag and then the yellow one is specifically for food large waste objects such as bicycles and televisions will be collected if left in general collection area with a correct large object disposal sticker attached to them There is no direct fee for garbage collection. Funding comes from sale of garbage bags that are colored coded by waste category and are usable only in one district. Color coding varies between the districts and non-standard bags are not acceptable by the collectors. Disposal is typically centralized in large buildings most of which has a waste disposal area, communal bins and a caretaker whose responsibility is to supervise waste disposal. Garbage bags can be left outside the house between certain hours on the designated day which are usually between late evening and early morning. The four separate categories of waste in South Korea are landfill waste, organic waste, recyclables and large waste objects. Recycling must always be segregated into types and compressed or flattened before disposal while in large buildings recyclables must be separated into specific communal bins Interestingly almost 60% of total plastic waste generated in India gets recycled while the remaining escapes into the environment At this juncture India needs robust and stringent waste management tools to substantially improve the situation but ultimately the success of any government program lays in its design implementation and participation of community members and it is we indians who can make our surroundings and environment better for our future generations today in india we have emphasis on having clean cities and towns korea has already achieved this goal the reason behind this is an efficient waste disposal system and india can learn a lot from the experience of korea in this respect 우리나라는 쓰레기의 80% 이상을 재활용할 뿐만 아니라 쓰레기 분리수거로 국내 총생산의 2%를 쓰고 있어 세계 1위 위를 다툴 정도로 분리수거와 재활용이 잘 되는 나라인데요. 그럼에도 우리나라는 더욱 더 체계적이고 효율적으로 분리수거와 재활용하기 위해 끊임없이 노력하고 있다고 합니다. 군사나 경제 등 강대국을 나타내는 분야가 아닌 재활용과 같은 시민의식과 환경 부분에서도 우리나라가 우수한 모습을 보이고 노력하고 있다는 것이 정말 자랑스러운데요. 그러면 이 순간에도 깨끗한 한국을 만들기 위해 고생하시는 많은 분들에게 감사 인사를 드리면서 오늘 영상은 여기까지 하도록 하겠습니다. 영상이 마음에 드셨다면 구독과 좋아요, 알림 설정 부탁드립니다. 시청해주셔서 감사합니다.